Okay, so I found a way to engrave metal with one of these cheap eBay Niji lasers. Uh, I've been experimenting with different things, um, painting, uh, sticking tape on, all sorts. But this is the best method I've found. So what you need to do is take a piece of metal, this is a piece of aluminium, um, and using ordinary parcel tape, the thin brown parcel tape, stick a piece onto your piece of metal. So make sure it's stuck down really well. Like that. Then mount it in your laser. Okay, it's now mounted in the laser. Um, with your software, um, I've mostly found um, engraving text is probably best. I've tried pictures, but it don't come out too well. So when you've got your text as you want it, send the image to the machine as usual. Okay, it should be downloading. Okay, download finished. Right, check your positioning. So box locating. Okay, that looks good. Right now we start engraving. I found a power setting um, of about 80 is okay. Um, if you use any lower setting, you need to do a couple of passes. But I'll let that finish engraving now. Okay, right, that's almost done. That's just one pass at power 80. Right, the next step is um, actually engraving the metal now. So all I've done at the moment is make basically a stencil. So what we need to do now, what you need for this is a power supply. Um, this one gives up to 30 volts. I found a, a setting of about 20 volts is probably best. Um, what else you'll need is some a mixture of, of vinegar with some salt in it to make it conductive. Um, a couple of Jubilee clips and a cotton bud. So that's finished engraving now. So what we do, take out your engraving. Okay, that looks good. Um, now we need to clip the positive end the power supply onto the actual piece you want to engrave okay right switch your power supply on which it is already on dip your cotton bud into the into a mixture of salt and vinegar and then all we do is dab it over the top This takes a little while because nothing will happen to start with. Make sure that the actual crocodile clip gets a bit wet to actually conduct the electric. This is quite safe, 20 volts isn't going to hurt you or anything. So just keep doing this. Nothing seems to be happening for a minute or so. What you're looking out for is, is it starting to draw any current at all. So at the moment we're on zero amps, 20 volts, zero amps. But what you will notice is your, it will start drawing current and you might start seeing some, some reaction on your piece. So, I find dabbing it is actually best rather than trying to rub it because you might rub off some of the some of the letters. So just keep just keep doing this. Okay, the ammeter is now starting to to read. So keep doing this. See some 
some sort of reaction happening now. Once it starts actually engraving, it will start drying up the vinegar. Okay, that's definitely starting to happen. You want to do this in quite a ventilated area because I think it gives off some some horrible gases. Okay, we're drawing quite a bit of current now. We're at uh, 0.3 of an amp. So you can see some smoke starting to come off here as well. The longer you do this, the deeper your etch is going to be. But it will start to undercut your stencil if you do it too much. You want to try and cover your piece of engraving evenly all over. Keep, keep dipping it in the vinegar. This would probably work with a car battery as well, but I haven't tried it. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what that's done. Switch the power supply off. Right. Let's peel off the tape. This is quite difficult one handed. That has actually etched into the metal quite nice. Let's see if we can get a close up, close up shot. Okay, there's so the bottom line needed a bit more engraving. But that's not too bad. It's definitely engraved it. Okay, thanks for watching.